Breaking news. A new study was just published on the changes a tarbosaurus batar skull goes through during growth. Decades before, paleontologists found different types of tyrannosaurid in Mongolia, but in 1965, it was recognized as a growth series of a single taxon. Ever since then, we have discovered more specimens, but research on this topic has stopped. Now, a new study has been published on tarbosaurus skull growth. They conducted a bone-by-bone -bone comparison with multiple specimens from various stages of growth, aided by computer software, and plotted the changes into 2D shapes. The results show that the way the skull changes as it grows is similar to many tyrannosaurids, especially Tyrannosaurus rex, since they're closely related. Most of the individual differences in the skull are due to individual variation, meaning little differences from animal to animal. Sexual dimorphism, meaning the differences could be related to sex. But keep in mind we don't have proof of their sex yet. And finally, deformation through taphonomic processes, meaning they were caused by death or burial. Size does not affect skull variation. The changes the skull goes through strengthen it to increase its bite force. This study agrees with Sakamoto's 2022 study that Tarbosaurus had a significantly stronger bite than all other Tyrannosaurids, save for Tyrannosaurus. It contradicts Johnson and Ramsom's 2024 study, where they found its bite to be weaker than Despletosaurus taurosus. The reason is that Johnson and Ransom used a skull reconstruction that is too narrow. This image commonly seen online is from the narrow reconstruction. This study also identified unique characteristics in Raptorex craigstini that are not found in other specimens, suggesting it might not be a juvenile Tarbosaurus. It's still a juvenile Tyrannosaurid of some sort, just not a juvenile Tarbosaurus. The authors caution that this study is still very limited and that more specimens are needed. Between you and me, I've heard rumors of some incredible Tarbosaurus specimens that are still sitting in museum storage. Lack of funding and all that. Let's just say there's a reason the prehistoric kingdom devs added that skin on the Tarbosaurus throat. And before I forget, October 4th was the 120th birthday of Tyrannosaurus and Albertosaurus. Happy birthday! Until next time, this is the illiterate scholar bringing you the latest news 66 million years late.